Uh, this Sunday will be a year since uh, first worship service being here at the church. And time goes quickly, and we'll know that'll be true of this next year too. Related to that, we have the beginning of our men's Bible study coming up on uh, August 20th, and that'll be at 5 o'clock on Sunday. So every 5 o'clock on Sunday evening, we'll be gathered together as men for our men's Bible study here at Zion. Uh, this first one that we're doing on the 20th of August... We'll do a cookout after we spend some time together. So 5 o'clock, we'll meet, and 6 o'clock, I'll have the Blackstone up here and be grilling some things up for that. you got questions about that, certainly come and see me. Hebrews is our uh, fundraiser for uh, Christian education and for uh, youth ministry as well, so family and youth ministry. And they'll be back. We're going to see Hebrews on a regular basis on Sunday mornings. They'll be back again on August 13th. And we'll probably see some new flavors on the horizon, too. And so when they come, uh, they'll be in from 9.30 to 10.30 on the 13th of August. Please do support our youth and family ministry through that ministry. Confirmation will be starting on Wednesday, September 20th. And we'll have an open house and, and a kind of a time to come together with parents just to kind of go over expectations and how this is going to work this year. Uh, we'll be covering the New Testament for the fall semester. That'll be very exciting and a great time uh, spending that time together. So Wednesday, September 20th is our first night of confirmation. Please do contact the office and me if you've got questions about that. Very exciting. On August 23rd, now we had billed this before as being the week previous, but on the 23rd of August is going to be our first worship vesper as a church. These vespers are opportunities for our youth to praise and worship Jesus together and enjoy a close time of fellowship. And so uh, this will be at 6.30 for the 23rd, and we'll have it then the first and third Wednesday of each month. On September 13th, we're having an open house for a new ministry called Rise and Shine. This is our early childhood ministry here at Zion to serve preschool age children in our community. Uh, this is something that's available, first of all, to Zion member families. And after those slots are filled, uh, the remainder will be available to our community. Carrie Skaliski is our new our early childhood ministry coordinator, and she is hosting this open house from 5 to 7 o'clock. Wednesday, September 13th, and you'll see me there too. This will be a great time for the kids to see the classroom and be able to see how that's set up and meet some of their uh, classmates as well, and for you to meet Carrie and be able to get whatever questions you need answered. This is the best time for you to bring supplies and to get materials from Carrie, so please uh, do look for that event on the horizon. September 17th is our kickoff Sunday. This is the first Sunday we'll have our adult and uh, kids education hour and that'll start at nine o'clock in the morning so nine o'clock we meet for Sunday school the first time on Sunday September 17th after the service we'll enjoy a barbecue together and just uh, enjoy this as a wonderful celebration uh, to begin our new school year so do look to that wanted to mention our theme for the fall preaching series uh, going from uh, August, uh, from September into October, is going to be Living in Exile, Faith for American Babylon. And this is going to be a sermon series that really orients us to understanding how it is that we deal with a culture that really doesn't fit with our fundamental beliefs as Christians and increasingly is difficult for um, our kids to be living in and living with. We want to see what the Bible says about that situation, and it'll be an exciting series for all of us to work it through together Sunday mornings. That'll be our preaching series for the fall. If you have questions, please contact the office. Um, Barb Larson is our administrative assistant. You can get hold of us, uh, whether calling the office or texting us uh, with questions. There'll be other opportunities coming up too, but we thought we better just give some kind of an update with all this going on. I want to thank all of our volunteers who are excited to serve and are so willing and gifted to contribute to God's kingdom in the many ways that they do. Thank you to all of you. I'm excited for a busy but fulfilling fall.